Any chances to hit Doggo again? Probably not. That was probably a one-time thing. If Dog appears again, it means he has once again managed to open my door. <laughs> Come into my room and found his way to my closet. That is not great. <laughs> the fact that he figured that out once is terrifying. If he starts figuring that out continuously, I will never have good audio on my side again. So, <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll do a stream where just in particular, I bring him in. Bring him into an ASMR stream. I wonder if you'd be able to hear him like panting. That's the thing. It's not like a cat. He doesn't oh, purr or anything. <laughs> so it would just be like... <sighs> Kind of shit. Like, what else do dogs do? They bark. You can hear like the sound of, sound of his massive paw smacking me in the hand when I tell him to give me paw. But that would be about it. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, he could give me a hug too because he's tall enough to do that. Like I said, doggo, well, dog is 170 pounds right now. He actually, we went to the vet the other day. So he's gone up by five pounds. He used to be 165. He's gained weight. He's gaining stronger. More momentum, more power, more drive. Yeah. Walk with Doggo. That's another thing. It's back to three walks a day with Dog. Dog's got to get three walks a day no matter what from now on. Even during the shitty heat wave. He does not like the heat. The during the day, he just camps out in front of whichever air conditioner he can. We don't have like in like proper... um, What's that called? Or like the whole house is air conditioned. We don't have that. We have a couple portable air conditioners in specific rooms. <laughs> He'll just camp out in front of one of those. Just collapse. He does not like this shit. Central Air? That's the name. Thank you. Central Air. We don't got that. <laughs> I finally got to relax a bit yesterday. That's the other thing I did yesterday. I, I took him with me to a pet store where you're allowed to bring in dogs. And he had a goddamned joy of a day. Uh, everyone who was working there, well, there were like four staff members there. They all came rushing over and were asking like, what is this? A horse? What is this? A bear? Oh, I love this. This is so cool. And yeah, like being really happy and hugging him and petting him. They gave him a giant biscuit. Really good. And there were other dogs in the store and he's really good with other dogs because I'm not sure how he was raised because obviously I just got him recently. But he seems to have been trained really well around other dogs. He just like lays down in front of them since like everything's smaller than him. And they would all just like come over and sniff him and then he'll stand up and then they'll normally freak out and run away. <laughs> but he's really gentle at his five years old. He's a gentle giant. So yeah, he scares the shit out of them, but they all come over to say, hey, <laughs> he's good at like luring them in and being like, I'm just a puppy too, don't worry. I'm 165 pounds. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Will your doggo eat your book? That's my nightmare. I have had dog eat two of my books. Thankfully, none that I couldn't buy back. If he ever eats a Don May one, I might cry because those are hard. Like those ordering those again is a bit of a pain. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's eaten two books, which thankfully were just like Western ones I could buy again. No big deal. He's eaten a video game. He ate my copy of Tales of Arise. I bought a physical copy of Tales of Arise when it came out. He managed to drag it down away from the PS4, oh chew it up and break the game case, at which point I had to re-download it. I had to buy an online version, a digital version, after I'd already bought the physical version because he chewed it up. Thankfully, he didn't swallow anything, but he just chewed up the case. And because his teeth are so big and his mouth is so massive, he managed to get right through the case and break the CD. So I just had to buy another one. I had to buy another copy. Really good game, by the way. That's another series I really like. I like the Tales of series. Anyway. Yes, he's eating some books, but nothing too bad just yet. So far. So far. Hope you and he, he eats a lot of letters too. I've trained him to now pick up letters and deliver them to me. Because for a while he used to just chew them up. And for a while, when I taught him to pick them up and bring them to me, he'd sometimes pick them up and then walk them away from me. Now he has learned to properly pick them up and bring them to me, and then I give him a treat. So yes, now he has become a fetchy dog. <laughs> he fetches things for me. Got newspapers. Just who reads newspapers anymore? But letters at least. Now he doesn't rip them up. Instead, he trades them for chicken. <laughs> Hello, Futsan. I was wondering if you were ever the type to celebrate Halloween by dressing up or giving candy. I hope you have a wonderful day. I love Halloween. So yes, I do like to dress up. I do like to give up candy. 
There was one year I dressed up dog as a Chewbacca. <laughs> I got him a little tiny costume of Chewbacca and he hated it, but he kept it on for a solid hour. Nobody else got to see him in it, but I got to see him in it. <laughs> but yeah, I like dressing up for Halloween. I like Halloween. Halloween is the best holiday. It's spoopy. You get to dress up, you get to eat candy, you get to give out candy. You get to have a fun time enjoying horror movies. What's not to like about Halloween? Bark, bark, bark. Bark. Am I a good boy? I know, dog. Am I a good boy? Yes, you're a good boy. 